Hello crazy coders, I am Nitin and thanks for having me. In this video, we will continue our discussion on why JavaScript is so popular. We'll try to answer this question by going through four aspects of this programming language which is history, philosophy, power and market. In the history section which we already covered, we talked about who created it when, initial releases, initial features. In the philosophy section which was our last video, we talked about why it's different, why it's unique, ideology, principles, etc. And in this video, uh, we'll talk about power and in the upcoming video, we'll talk about market. And uh, let's continue for this video, we'll talk about power which is what you can do with it, tools and technologies available, etc. Let's begin. As we know, JavaScript is an event-driven uh, programming language, which means user we can code in such a way which can handle user interactions very well. Also, it's a client-side validation language. It has features uh, which can validate on the browser itself. So it's and uh, it's also for platform independent. It does not require any type of platform. It runs on brow any browser uh, in which it has runtime. And it has DOM manipulation. Uh, because of this, it has been very much used with HTML and CSS because of this DOM manipulation features. And because of these features and many more, JavaScript has been used in many industries. Uh, to list some of them, we have uh, we can do desktop application development. You can do machine learning with JavaScript. You can do game development. You can animate website like anything. Awesome animations are available. Frameworks uh, and uh, slides also. You can make amazing slides based websites with help of JavaScript. You can also develop mobile apps. There are also frameworks for that. You can make digital art with JavaScript and also robots. And many many more uh, use cases are there they, these are just handful of them because javascript is a general purpose language and uh, to get you started i will list down some of the frameworks available for each of the category for animating websites uh, there are many frameworks available such as 3.js anim velocity js green sock any js and scroll reveal like if you use them your animation level will go to next level with and your websites will look so awesome so user experience will be very better very pleasing so that's why javascript is wonderful for dynamic uh dynamic websites also but you know very pleasing websites with the game development or oh, you can use phaser impact pixie js melon js and then many many other engines available for 2d 3d uh, these are just uh, four and for desktop application development you can use atom you can use proton native you can use nw.js you can do meteor node gui all these are good uh, gui development frameworks with uh, javascript for mobile development you can use ionic or react native both are very famous and react native is of course a google sorry it's a facebook's uh, ui framework and it uses in all of its uh, products for robotic and drone development as well you can use cylon js and also node.js which is actually java runtime which helps it to uh, execute uh, its code on platforms other than browser we'll talk about it in a bit and for machine learning, we have TensorFlow.js, Kaonet.js, uh, and uh, uh, many other libraries. You can surely check out links in the description for detailed information on each of this uh, mentioned framework. Talking about Node.js, uh, you know, Node.js is an open source cross platform JavaScript runtime environment that executes JavaScript code outside of a web browser. Node.js is popular lightweight web development, sorry, web framework for beginners and is used by many companies like Netflix and Uber. So basically, uh, before Node.js, JavaScript was only limited to 
or run on browsers such as Opera, Chrome, Mozilla, Firefox, Safari, etc. Its limitation was this that it can only be executed in browser and not only its limitation but its superpower was as well because it was the only language that browser understands and but because of Node.js the use cases of Java expanded a lot because now because of this Java Node.js runtime you can run your code of JavaScript as a standalone application you don't need a browser to execute it right so that so why Node.js has helped this language to boom and increased its power and also one of the major reason of its modern popularity or modern usage is its V8 engine which allows modern features like garbage compilation sorry garbage collection compilation to machine code inline caching pointer comparison and much more optimization because of Google a comparison between Node.js for better understanding I am uh, comparing it with Java runtime environment which is a Java virtual machine so as we discussed in Java video Java code is first compiled into bytecode and then it is interrupted by Java virtual machine and all these library classes have uh, include in them but when it comes to JavaScript Node.js is an environment and V8 engine acts as a virtual machine and node API or modules are automatically embedded in engine so that when you write use the library code it automatically un understands it that was it and from npm uh, npm is a node package manager and it is a part of node.js uh, which means it has lots of packages and of course as name says it's a package manager it has lots of lots of package uh, there are almost uh, three lakh fifty thousand packages to help your project or application of the ground with efficiency and ease. So it's a complete language uh, from start to end. Full stack development can be done with only JavaScript. And that was it from this video. I uh, hope you liked it. Uh, do consider like, subscribe, and sharing. We'll catch you up in the next video.